Hey Cloud Gamers, Amnesia Rebirth released from Frictional Games. Thank you very much to them for providing us a key for the review here. And we're going to have a look at the game and how it performs across GeForce Now, Shadow PC, the boost tier, and the maximum settings 2080 Super Rig. Now it's quite clear from the offset that this game is capped at 60 frames per second, and GeForce Now does a very good job at keeping up here. Now the Amnesia series is a well-known series. If you haven't played the previous games, this is all set on suspense and getting you immersed in the story. So don't expect to be running around shooting or running away from monsters. This is a story heavy game and you kind of need to let yourself get immersed into the story. There's quite a lot of reading, there's quite a lot of cutscenes, but it really does help build that suspense. And I was getting chills down my spine in quite a few sections of this game. It is very well put together. The voice acting is superb. You get these little dialogue scenes. So we've switched over to GeForce now to show full screen here. I'm going to go over a few of the same sections just so you can see how each of the different platforms perform. But you'll see that you get these kind of cut scenes to bring back bits of the memory as you might have imagined a game called amnesia the main storyline is obviously you can't remember exactly what happened in this case after a plane crash in a desert and then you go into some caves to try and shelter from the boiling sun and also try and figure out what's going on moving around in this game there is a lot to look at and a lot to figure out it does feel like this game is kind of meant more for virtual reality and i think it would suit virtual reality very well giving you that much more immersive feel. The way the controls work does feel like it's geared more towards that kind of game. There's so much story to this, you really do need to kind of take it all in. I'm cutting through quite a few of these sections here not to ruin the story. It does really draw you in and you really do need to pay attention. Those hints will help you get through certain sections later on in the game. As we move over to the Shadow PC version, you can see that the colouring seems to be a lot more rich on the Shadow PC version for some reason. Although I've got the gamma balance as best I could according to the config utility at the start of the game, the colours do seem a lot richer on Shadow PC and this seems to carry into the darks as well. And skipping through the uh, cutscene sections here just so that it doesn't ruin it for you. You do spend quite a long time in the dark in this game and it does get your heart racing as the main character and also with the intrigue from yourself. This game is all about suspense and not about speedrunning. This is a story led game so if you are not into story led games then this will probably not be the game for you it's not really much of a jump scare game either it is an immersive experience so you do get some areas that send chills down your spines especially when you're in these caves but it's not going to throw stuff at you unexpectedly at least not too often As we move over to maximum settings 2080 super as again you can see that we are capped at 60 frames per second and shadow pc was handling everything just fine as well as geforce now although the maximum settings rig does look a little bit crisper and cleaner it's not really much different to the other two so amnesia rebirth is going to play extremely well regardless of where you play on geforce now shadow pc or maximum settings but for me personally, I think Shadow PC has the better colouring. GeForce Now has the best playability, obviously because it's a cloud rig and you can play it on pretty much anything for that $5 a month. Whereas Maximum Settings and Shadow PC are probably a little bit overkill for this game. But if they are your only choices, then definitely worth using. And moving around in the Maximum Settings rig, things are extremely fluid. And you can see some of that music starting to build up some of that suspense. 
as we move back over to all three side by side. Again, it is a very well written story game and it is extremely immersive. I'm not showing you some of the later sections so that it doesn't spoil some of the stuff coming up for you, especially if you are looking to play this game. I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth a look if you are looking for a nice story type of game. Bit of a break from the run and gun and scare tactics type of games. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and I will see you next time.